Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dib, and today we're going to talk about the orientation element for the linear layout in Android programming. So let's get started. Let's go start a new project here. So click on project and next and let's give it a project name of uh, linear layout orientation. Okay. And let's change the package name. It doesn't really matter though for this example. And let's change the build to um, 2.3 for the heck of it. And give it a, um, let's keep all the default names there. And here we go. So let's get to the XML file. If you notice here, um, the default um, view the Eclipse makes now is actually called relative layout, but we're going to change that to be linear. If I can spell layout, and I'll be lazy and copy and paste. Then I'm going to save. And if you notice, um, we get warnings here because these two elements are not valid for the um, linear layout view type. Um, okay, so then we have to come in here and type Android orientation and we have a choice of either vertical or horizontal and first I'm going to tell you what this orientation is not this does not affect at all whether or not the phone itself is physically um, facing vertical or being held horizontal um, you know how like you can change or um, when you tilt your phone to the side, it changes the view. This is not anything at all about that. What this does is determine how the text on the screen is laid out for whichever view that you're on. So for example, okay, let's change this text here. Just This is make up some crazy words. Let's say chicken. Um, let's, let's be lazy and copy and paste a bunch of times. I need to have that out just because I like that. Okay, let's, let's give it a few times here. Okay, let's say chicken, um, cat, monkey, and skunk. Okay, so with the orientation being vertical, these, these text um, view are are going to go straight down the screen. So if you go here back to the, uh, click on the GUI, you'll see here, chicken, cat, monkey, skunk. Okay. Now if you go over here and change this to horizontal, you can guess what it's going to do. And go to the GUI. It puts them all horizontally. Okay. Like, um, like that. So basically, if the orientation is vertical, it's going to make your text be vertical on your screen. And if it's horizontal, it's going to go straight across. So it's basically you have a choice of either one row or one column. Okay. Um, so typically, I mean, you may have, well, you know, I don't know about typically, but what I usually do is I have this vertical because, you know, you may have like a menu uh, option here. Um, and, and this is the same, it doesn't matter if you have text there or buttons or whatever. Okay, let's say that you had a button right here in the middle. Okay, so let's, let's do a quick button. Button, um, Android ID equals. And if you don't know how to do buttons, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll show you that later. But, um, and I'm going to copy pasta this. And then I'll say um, text um, uh, Android text equals um, my button here, whatever. Okay. So now we have chicken cat button. Um, now one thing that you have to be careful of is if you um, do it horizontal. And the text goes off the screen. 
it just wraps off the screen. Um, well, okay, we don't have any long words here, so that actually fit. But let's change cat to elephant giant, whatever. Okay, so, something with a long word. And then notice here that skunk got all jacked up here. It didn't really wrap properly. Um, so just be careful with that. But that, in a nutshell, is the difference between the horizontal and vertical orientation for the linear layout um, view. Hope that helped and stay tuned for more.